Watch how I cut and score this personalized printer into five individual pieces using a sticker maker print and cut method with my Cricut Joy and you can too. So I'm going to go to new project. Now the first thing I need to do is change my machine to anything but a Cricut Joy. Now I'm going to go to upload, upload image. Now I'm going to find the image that I'm going to upload. Now I'm going to make this a print and cut image even though I'm not going to print and cut it. Now I'm going to do this as a print and cut image. It's just for the design purposes. And we are going to add that file to our canvas. So it's brought it in quite large and I need to adjust my size to the printed size that I was given, which is 10.2 by 15.2. I have no idea why my photo size is that. I ordered four by six inches. Next, add a border. So we're going to go to shapes add a square and we're going to add a square in the exact same size so it's going to be 10.2 by 15.2 we're going to make the position of this 0 0 and we are going to change this to a draw so I'm just going to pick a pen now you can pick the fine point point four millimeter pen as per came in the box uh, sometimes, even though it came in the box, you still need to pick a fine, extra fine point pen regardless. I'm just going to stick with the black. Now, we also need to change, optimize our experience for Cricut Joy, and it will tell us that the print then cut is not supported by Joy, which we already know, and that is perfectly fine. That's why we are going to do all of this, turn off the print and cut file, and then keep going. So next we just need to draw some boxes around wherever we want it to cut. So I'm just going to do one and then I'm just going to whiz through them all. So we're going to add a square. Uh, I would use the measurements that you would measure by literally grabbing your ruler. Use your offset and you make it exactly the amount of the sides. So measure from here to here and that is your offset number and then measure from here to here and that's your offset number. And that is your basic cut. Now we're just going to keep going. Okay, so now we've got our little boxes around where we want to cut. You'll notice mine's got a little bit of edging on the side. That's because I ordered a photo and that came out a little bit different to the expected size. So I gave an allowance and now I need to cut that allowance out. Okay, so now one more thing I want to do and I want to add a score line down the middle. Now, you hear me say score line, but I have a Cricut Joy. It can't do a score. That is correct. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a line and then we're going to use the mathematics to line it up exactly where we want. Okay, so now I have lined it all up. The X position is 5.06. The Y position is 0.65. And that lines up with all of my measurements that I have. Now. We don't want it to cut this line though. We want it to score. So you will need a Cricut Explorer scoring tool and a adapter to do this, or you could just you try the foil tool in itself or any sort of tool that you can hack into your Cricut Joy. But assuming you have a scoring device, I'm going to just go here and I'm going to go with foil. And it really doesn't matter what color my foil is because it's not going to make any difference. Now, over here, we've got our arrow saying not supported by Joy. We're going to turn this off. We're going to select everything and we are going to attach it. And then we're ready to press make it. Now, I'm going to say on mat. Now, I am going to use my long mat and I'm going to do this on purpose. And I'm also going to put it all the way down the bottom of my long mat. Okay, so that is so that we've got a little bit of extra time. Sometimes if this doesn't trick doesn't work, the next trick thing you need to do is just add a piece of paper right up the top and then add like a tiny little dot or something and get it to draw a circle and then go all the way down and that will solve your problem. So now we're using the long mat. We're going all the way down the bottom. We're going to press continue. Now it's asking us to turn our machine on. Okay, to do this, I'm going to use my long mat. I am going to use my Cricut Explorer scoring tool with an adapter. I'll pop the link to the adapter in the description box as well. I have also got a washable marker. You can just use your regular pen. 
you are going to be drawing directly on your mat. All right, so what we're doing, we'll set our base material. I am going to go in ahead and stick heavy cardstock because I'm using photo paper. Now it's asking me, see here, it's going to load my tools in order. It's asking me for my red pen. Then it's asking me for the foil transfer tool, which is your scoring tool. And then the fine point blade. Load chosen pen. Load mat and draw directly on mat. Carefully remove pen. Next I am going to load my chosen scoring tool. I am using a Cricut Explorer tool with adapter. Carefully stick down chosen pre-printed paper exactly inside the border that was drawn by Cricut Joy. Press go and watch your machine work its magic. As per the prompts, change the tool to the fine point blade and press go. Carefully remove the cutouts from the mat. If you have multiple sheets of the same prints, do not select unload. Instead load a new sheet inside the box, select rerun, and start again except add nothing to the clamp when prompted for a pen. Too easy. From here I just added the cutout to the inside of my keyring blank, pressed it together, and that was it. Personalized keyrings using photo printing and Cricut Joy to cut and score. If you liked the video today, I really think you'll like this video over here, and if you'd like to swipe this project, check out the link in the description box. Thanks for watching!